hi, new kitchen, you guys. Let me just see if we're going. I think we are. Let me let's look. Okay, now it's not coming up. Okay, great. Okay, so I got all the chillins, which AKA are the animals, in Callie's room, but I still hear Pixie. She kind of gets a little loud, but anyway, welcome to my new kitchen, you guys. Look, isn't this cool? It's a little bigger. I think the lighting is better. Um, yeah. So these are actually my appliances that I, I got from Trisha. Those are those little Smeg ones. And that one's an alternate, but that's a, a dry, an air dry cooker. Uh, bake, whatever it does, wonder, meats are wonderful, you guys. And it, you don't have to add any grease. You can add a little oil, but make french fries in there. It's like really good. That is a really cool thing. The Smeg blender, I like that. I was going to try and do smoothies or even uh, chopped up celery and some juice. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, welcome, you guys. I don't know why I got into that. I just saw them first. I'm like, oh, there you go. So, um, today... I'm so glad to be with you. Um, by the way, if uh, yes, this is that swimsuit top from Amazon, part of that uh, swimsuit for $23. So see, it's so versatile. You can wear it as a sports bra. You can wear it underneath like a cardigan or whatever. And then, of course, I don't know if jean skirts are out of date, but I can never give them up, you guys, because any top goes with them, like jeans. A jean skirt, everything goes with them. I will probably wear them till the day I die. And it's nice. You, this is a, like the stretchy jeans. So it's like I can hoist them up. But I won't. I want that. It looks kind of cool. Not so cool. Not that I'm trying to be cool, you guys. But i um, got one of my favorite hairstyles on today. And yes, are we cooking? We are kind of cooking. We are going to see how. You know how I like me some Food Network. What is it, you guys? We are doing Pioneer Woman's Macaroni and Cheese today. So, I am going to read what is in it. It's frozen, of course, but I, I think I love all the stuff that she makes. So, this macaroni and cheese has, um, it's elbow macaroni tossed in a creamy cheese sauce with mushrooms, roasted onions, applewood smoked bacon. That's new. I've never had that in a, in a mac and cheese. Uh, they're actually baked pieces. So, and then it's topped with blue cheese crumbles. So, let's get started. It is, um, we preheat the oven to 375, and you remove the tray from the box, vent the corner, and you bake it for 50 minutes. So, there you go. You t take it out and let it stand for a minute. So, I'm going to be talking to you guys for 50 whole minutes. <laughs> gotcha. No, I'm <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you guys. Oh my gosh, no. I've already put it in and it should be it should be done. So yeah, 50 minutes? Oh that's back in the day when I you know talked to you yakety yakety yak to you guys a long time. So I have to tell you, um, let me see how it is. This is so nice. I feel all like, well, I can go this way, I can go that way. It's like my other kitchen, I think, was like a third of the size of this. So let's just see. Um, oh yeah I like mine like I like my brownish on top really really like it like that so let me see does this like do anything probably not oh well anyway I have to tell you guys now I timed that let me shut off shut it off I uh it says 15 minutes right 50 five zero I have had it in there to get it to look like this. I've had it in there for an hour and 10 minutes. You guys, that's 70 minutes. So, because when I looked at it at 50 minutes and it was still kind of soupy and stuff. So, no, that's that did do it for me. So, that, I don't know. I know all ovens are different, you guys. So, that could be it. You know, this could be an old oven. I don't know. But let's have a toast, a cheers to start the day and um then i do want to read a couple of uh, you guys's comments i mean i'm gonna say all you guys have such sweet comments i have the best uh friends in the world and i, I love you guys for it uh this is let me see it should be a non-alcoholic um kind of like a wine but it's a grape is a grape juice cocktail and um it's 70 calories for eight ounces which is, is a lot I don't like to I don't like to drink my calories at all 
Mm. Now, so I'm going to do half and half. I'm going to do, this is zero Gatorade. And I love the blue. So I'm going to try these two together. And it should be what? A purple drink? <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Um, so yeah, there's no alcohol. So we'll see. This is another reason I thought, well, you know, to buy like sangria, non-alcoholic sangria, I probably can make it myself, you know? So let's, let's see how it goes. I got this at CVS, by the way. So I don't think it was too bad. I want to think it was somewhere between five and six dollars, but, um. Uh, I hope you guys all have a great day. Oh, easy. You know, someday, though, these twist-offs, I'm not going to be able to do. Some things I can't do, as, as you, you guys have seen in some of my things. That was hard for me to get some off. When I was drinking Aussie, sometimes I couldn't get those corks off at all. So, I'm thinking when I get older, I'll have to have, like, when my kids come older, over and I, can, I don't have that strength. Of, I'm like, can you up all these before you go? Okay. There we go. I don't know if I, I like this angle. I have it on a couple boxes. You know, I could probably, you know, maybe push you back a little bit. And then you'll fall off. Because behind, oh, that's a little better maybe. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to get a, a little bit of ice for you. Or a lot of ice. However it goes. Oh. While I'm over here, you guys, I'm going to get you, um, I'm going to show you how the green chef comes. I mean, it is just jam packed in our, in our refrigerator. But while I'm here, if any of you are interested and can cook following the recipe, this is how it comes. You get a big box and it's always, it's always got a big ice pack in it, but you get four meals and I need to make one. I need to make one of these too soon. I would make these for you, you guys, but they're very um, time consuming. <laughs> Not that we don't have the time. So I'm going to go through those in, in just a minute. Because i put it on a hot stove. Because there's veggies in there. Okay, so we're going to have part of the Welch's. Ooh, it smells very good. Okay. And then, then what are we going to do? You guys hear pics? I would put her on my shoulder, but I think she screams. She doesn't like people to talk. I don't know. Is that old age kicking in or what? But anyway, and then a little bit of that. So you could do drink. Oh, that's not bad. You could do drinks without alcohol, right? But you got for you guys that want to do this and that, put a little... Vodka in a vodka, you could probably put in any juice, anything, because you can't really taste it. But anyway, cheers to you guys out there in YouTube audience land. Mm. Mm. That's that's pretty good. I actually like I like Blue Gatorade by itself, but this is really a really nice little drink if you want a cocktail, especially if you're like hanging out with gas and that. And just bring your own. Sorry. Cut my bangs. I'm always cutting out my bangs. Can you tell? And I like them uneven, so I'm okay. Mmm. That's good. I like that. Nummy, nummy. But, uh, Pioneer Woman, you know, of course, you know, most of them people are at home quarantining, so she's been having her kids tape her. And, uh, that's been kind of fun to watch, but she acts totally different than she would, like, in a setting that's, you know, everything prepared probably for her, but... That's okay. Some are good. I watched Jimmy Fallon from home. He wasn't, that wasn't as good as like in the studio. And I thought he wasn't funny, but you know, he's telling the jokes and there's no laughter. You know, it's like, that's weird. A little weird. So, yeah. Anyway, let me, um, do a little shout out and then I'll show you the green chef and then we'll taste the mac and cheese. The big reveal. Okay. Hopefully I can do this without my glasses. No time. So um, let's start with, well, I'm sure most of you have noticed this, but David Kosher, K-O-S-I-R, he noticed the picture quality has improved a lot. <laughs> and uh, he goes, you must be using a new laptop. Uh, voila, I am. I'm using Trisha's 
on a Trisha's laptop. It's one of 20 that she has. So I, I think it's working well. I think the lighting's better in my kitchen also. And I think the lighting in general is because I got more windows and there's just no light. Uh, Maki, uh, excuse me. I do a video here. You want to say hi to the people? You want to say hi? Come here. He, he loves to chase supplies. We get supplies in the house because we leave the patio doors open for him. Even though we have the sheer curtains up some season. But it's amazing how he can find them. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, let me go get him. I'm sorry. You guys, I'm so sorry. Rocky? Come here. What are you barking at? Why are you barking? Is something out there? Now you kind of got to say hi to the people. And this is what Mimi's doing. Say hi! Hi the monkey! Hi the mukbang! Hi the mukbang! I'll dance for you with my Mimi. We dance all day. Do 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 do. We dance all day. You try to hide your face. Say hi guys. I saw you were barking. Do you like kisses? Okay. Try and keep it down, buddy. All right. So thank you for that, David, for noticing. Some of, the, I, some of the videos, the older videos, I'm sure, were really, really, really bad. Uh, here's Melissa K. She goes, cute video. Sorry you wasted $20 on the fake tequila, but at least now, you know, it's awful. True. It, it, it was really awful, you guys. Oh, I do want to do the whiskey yet, but I'm going to try and find, like, a different brand. Maybe it was just the brand that was just... Uh. Another thing I thought, it, you know, it did taste like tequila at all to me. You know how you have, uh, if you're a baker and you have like vanilla flavorings you can add or lemon extracts? Why didn't they have like a tequila extract? I wonder if that's out there. If you guys have ever seen that, let me know because they should have put that in that bottle. Just saying. Okay, and let's do one more. Alicia Moonstar. That's so, so cool. My buddy down here. She goes, lovely to see you and Trisha so happy. You know... First of all, that's really sweet. And, you know, we are both, we were talking the other day, we are at probably at the happiest place in our lives ever. Um, she's way happy. She's, you know, getting ready to buy a house. And her life is just non-cluttered. Look at this. <laughs> don't you just, I, you know, don't you just love your animals? And you guys treat your animals good. In fact, don't, don't ever, I would never let an animal outside there are so many coyotes. You don't know even where. I know there's coyotes in Missouri, so don't matter where you live. Always be out there with your pet. Just don't let him out there. It's like if you love your pet, it's just like a child. You just keep, gotta watch them. Not only that, but there's a lot of abductions of pets, so I wouldn't let that happen to you. So uh, that's my one thing of today, you guys. Watch your pets. I'm sure most of you do, but I had, there was a YouTube on yesterday that I don't like it when people use their pets for, uh, it, it was, so I'm not going to say who, but it was a, in a boat and the dog allegedly fell into the water. But anyway, I looked at that video and I, my heart went out to that little dog. I feel bad for that dog, you know, um, accident or no accident. If you've got a dog on a boat, somebody should be watching it. And on that boat, there had to be at least 10 people, and that one was watching that dog. That is, oh, I'm so angry. I'm still angry. I just don't want to think about it. So hopefully, maybe um, animal, they can, animal control or whatever that is that, you know, can look at that and hopefully do something about it. I don't know. I'm not saying yay or nay, but uh, um, things like that just shouldn't happen. Just shouldn't happen. Because the pets, they depend on us. They depend on us so much. And that broke my heart. Okay, so that's all I'm going to say on that. Um, I did do a, a podcast uh, yesterday with um, Trisha. So that should be up mm, this week or next week. And usually I talk about myself. So if you want to know more about me or my past or life or whatever, you can tune in. It's simply under um, Trisha's podcast. So that was fun. Okay. Also, one thing I want to say is um, because I have watched him when my mom watched him, Regis Philbin has passed away at the age of 88. And I was reading um, his um, 
his biography, kind of, sort of. And uh, he was a side. He started. He started out. I, I believe in 1961, but uh, he was a sidekick also for Joey Bishop. I mean, this is going back. You young kids are not gonna know that at all. But I, I didn't know that. Uh, I remember my mom watching Joey Bishop. I'm like, gosh, that brings back memories. But he was a, a really cool guy. He had, I mean, he had the wit. I mean, he just had comebacks like that. And I, I thought he was one of the greatest people that I've ever watched on TV. So another sad one was Kelly Preston, 57 years old. She died of breast cancer, which that is near and dear to my heart. Um, I, that is just way too young way too young and uh she uh did her her uh, recovery uh privately and you got to respect that because it is a, it is a tough time so uh, she took she battled it for two years so my condolences to their family also olivia de Havilland, she was the oldest surviving cast member of gone with the wind she was 104 years old, and I've seen some, um, they had some clips of her. She was, she really had it yet together in her mind. I was like, good for you. One movie, you guys, I have never, ever seen is Gone with the Wind, and I suppose one day I should do that. I don't know. But, you guys, okay, that's just my little ditty of the day. I want to show you, okay, now I'll show you, uh, hold on, let's see. Parmesan crusted chicken. I'll show you what's in this one. Oh, there's a lot in this one. Let's do this one. This is Italian shrimp and a veggie bowl. I usually, we usually uh, will freeze the meat because it could be a while before you get to this. So it gives you, and this is how it comes to You get, where are they? You get a sheet like this of the recipe and a picture of what it's to look like. So it's, it's pretty good. Let me see if I got that one. Italian shrimp. Let's see. Okay, there it is. So, at the end, this is what it's supposed to look like, right? But this is, I mean, it's a really good thought out thing. They, they all prepackaged, and, um, you know, they got a, look at that, that is one big, big pepper. And then you got all these, you got your seasonings they give you, right? Let me put these down. Seasonings, your sauce. Um, I had a Rachel Ray moment where I put everything in my arms. Cheese already packaged. I mean, it's just good for wor working people too. You get home and, and if you both are doing it, because you know you got to chop this, chop that, get your meat. And uh, these are the nuts that come with it. Anything else? Yes, there's some. I mean, it's really clever. I will say if you get the right things that you order, and then your shallot. How cute is that, you guys? Um, pretty cute, I think. So, yeah, probably should do one of them today. It's just that, you know what? I just like to eat what I want to eat. You know, I want to, if I want a hot dog, I'm going to just eat a hot dog for dinner or whatever. But I try and do this. I mean, Kelly and I will, you know, we can split it. And then I feel like I'm getting some good stuff in me. So, yeah. So you get four of them a week. Uh... They, oh, they had they had like oh really good deal I think it was like forty percent off and you know if you order so I, I I kind of feel that maybe people aren't ordering them don't know just my opinion I like this glass it's supposed to be pure one imports because it's got the slant and all my wine glasses are like the two mm. bad news though today you guys ever broke my favorite glass. Remember that one that was kind of like a martini glass and it had the sparkles on the bottom? Broke it. <laughs> Broke it. Okay. Now, time for the big reveal, you guys. I don't know. You know, maybe I should put in a little bowl, but speaking of bowls, this is my favorite, favorite little, I don't know. It's a bowl. It's a soup. To, it's whatever you want. Um, I loved it. I got this from Home Goods. I got two of them. I love it. I love it a lot. So, okay, you guys, I'm going to just put some in there. Ooh, it's the right consistency. Yeah, yeah. I just hope that my um, oven doesn't work right. Okay. Got my crusties. 
And when you open it too, like uh, you have to take like that corner off. Uh, some of the blue cheese crumbles flew, so kind of be a little careful on that or you'll lose every piece of cheese ever. So here we go. I always like to, I don't know why, do you guys smell your food? I always like to smell my food. But I want to, I'm going to go for a walk after this because it is nice. I like it. It's been really overcast here. It's not like summer July at all. So I like it. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to compare this to my mac and cheese, which of course I love, but here we go. Ooh, hot. This is really good. Oh my gosh. Really. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like a gargazola cheese, which reminds me of Mastro's um, mac and cheese. Mmm. Good. Yep. Thumbs up. Mmm. Thumbs up. Mmm. For a frozen, this is really, really good. I haven't eaten yesterday, but you guys ever have one of them and ch you gotta change the number every day for the date? It's a good concept, but it's like two days later I looked and I'm like, oh, forgot to change that. It's a good thing for kids, I think, more so. Like, this is your job, change that number every day. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, you guys, this is good. Get this. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't think it's very expensive. Oh. I love the crunchy, so I'd almost put that in again and get it more, mm, the rest of it crunchier. Good. Mm. Okay, guys. If you liked my recipe for that mac and cheese, go to your frozen food section at your grocery store under Pioneer Woman. Mm. Again, not sponsored, you guys. But here we go. Back into my real world, you guys. I'm going to have another little bowl of that and then put my tennis shoes on and have at it. But anyway, I love you guys so much. Take care. And thank you for coming into my kitchen. i got to hit that little circle just right. Bye, you guys.